Hey guys, and welcome to Doing Things Dan's Way. So today I'm doing an efficiency comparison test. What happens if I put exactly one cup of fuel through all three of these generators and hold the power constant? See, all of these will say that they can run for 10 hours at a quarter load uh, on, on gas, but that they all have different amounts of fuel they hold, and they all have different ratings. And so it really makes any kind of apples to apples comparison basically impossible. So today what I'm gonna do, and what I've done actually for days and days is to gather the data here, is to hold the power constant and put the same amount of fuel in. So I put one cup of fuel in and run all three of these generators each at 250 watts, 500 watts, 1000 watts, and 1500 watts to see how many minutes each one of these will last. Because my, my hypothesis was, okay, the, the smaller engine should run better at uh, low power ratings because it's a smaller engine and such. But when we get to the higher power ratings, the bigger guy in econ mode uh, should be able to outperform uh, efficiency wise a small motor running full blast because uh, both of these running at 1500 watts are, are getting pretty close to their maximum value. And so that's what we're going to see with this data. So this is the WEN 3800i. They're uh, 3,800 peak uh, running watt uh, generator. It's equivalent to the Predator uh, type version with you know onboard power, uh, just push button start. Uh, very, very nice unit. Uh, this is the WEN 235i. Uh, it is a 2,350 watt, 1,900 watt rated run rate uh, generator. And over here is my bu buddy's Honda. It's the EU 2000i. This is definitely an older model. I'd love to get my hands on a more recent one, uh, but this will serve as kind of our Honda comparison just to get an idea from this generator. And now this is an older generator as well, so it's not a, a great comparison, but at least to get some, you know, one data point in there next to these two over here. So test equipment wise, I have several different things. I have a couple different heaters, which get me enough power handling uh, in terms of the load. But to dial that in, I have a Variac. And a Variac is an adjustable voltage transformer. This lets me adjust the amount of voltage going to the load, which also lets me adjust power. So using a kilowatt meter running off of this guy, I can adjust the power that the generator is being, has drawn from it very accurately. So I can dial in exactly, or within 10, 15 watts, I can dial in you know, 500 watts, 1,000 watts, that sort of thing. So that's the equipment I'll be using to do this test. Okay, let's talk for just a second about how I actually perform the test. So looking here, kind of back at the, the footage, you can see what I always did was I always started by running the generator to warm it up and to run it completely dry right where it sits without moving it. So the goal there was for it to, uh, to get to a condition where it was out of gas that was repeatable. So then you can see here, once it's out of gas and it would, it would die, I would go over, I would measure out exactly one cup of fuel, I would dump it in there and then uh, fire it back up again, get it up and running. Uh, at some point there, I need to, to turn on the load and to switch it into uh, you know, dial into exactly the power rating, so 250 watts or 500, 1000, or 1500 watts, and then also, if, if appropriate, to turn on the eco mode, uh, which was, except for the 1500 watt mode, I put the eco mode on for basically all uh, power states. Now, the bigger generator can do eco mode all the way up to 2200 uh, watts or so, so that one was on eco mode for every one of these tests. So, based on all of that testing, I ended up with roughly seven to eight hours worth of content. Uh, some of these tests were an hour long. And so I, I was trying to edit this down into a point where I could show you just kind of in high speed mode. I literally had to go to 10,000 X speed to take, you know, 20 minutes worth of content and to crush it down. And it really just didn't add any value. So this is the full project where I put in each of these three generators. And you can see each one of these generators generated a couple hours of data. So way out here, we're looking at uh, nearly six hours worth of content. Just, and, and some of this has uh, been sped up because I was trying to, to figure out how to speed it up. So uh, all in all, there's actually more than seven hours worth of content. Okay, so let's look at the final results here. Now that we have the template, I've gone through a couple of weekends worth of testing. Uh, now let's look at the actual data. So here you can see a chart that shows the three different generators in action.
The WEN 2350i is clearly the most efficient of this group. You can see it got nearly an hour of operation with just a single cup of gas. That's phenomenal. And then 500 watts, 1,000, 1,500, you can see how uh, things drop off. Uh, if we look at the, uh, the 380i, the 3800 watt generator, in just in, in 250 watt mode, you can't even tell when you turn on that load with that generator. It's just kind of idling along. So when 380i only got 20 minutes, 58 seconds from a single cup of gas, and the Honda was able to get 27 minutes, 56 seconds. Now what's really interesting here is to see how the older Honda did uh, compared to the larger generator. And to see one, it's kind of surprising how much less efficient the Honda was. And also to see that it actually struggled to, at higher powers, to stay efficient at all. The bigger generator was substantially more efficient than it was. And you can see in this line chart how the yellow versus red lines here, they actually crisscross each other. That's pretty fascinating to see. Now, this does point to the fact that this is a much older generator. And so my thought is maybe there's a lot of hours in this generator. I don't really know the history of it. Uh, and it might have worn rings, it's just less efficient. So I'm not, I'm not comparing the Honda versus the WEN here too meticulously, but these two WEN generators are exactly the same age and they have almost the identical number of hours on them, uh, which is at this point about 10 hours. Uh, so they're not fully broken in yet, you could even say, but you can see how much more efficient the small generator is. It's substantially more efficient uh, than the larger one when we, power levels are low. When we get to high power, even when the generator is at 1500 watts, which out of 1900 is pretty much you know, close to full rating, uh, the smaller generator is still more efficient than the large one. So that's, that's a fascinating number. I really expected to see more, more convergence there. On the far end here, on the light low, 250 watts, it is, that makes a lot of sense. So here we have a 79cc engine versus a 212. So we have more than twice the uh, displacement, which means cylinder walls, crank, everything else is just that much bigger on that larger generator. And so when it's not doing a lot of work, there's a lot more moving mass there to keep going and more friction uh, opportunities and such. And so that just, you can see it right in the data that if you're just gonna idle this thing, the small generator is obviously the right choice because you wouldn't get a big, huge generator and just idle it anyway. But it really does point to the fact that these small generators are really amazingly efficient uh, from light load all the way up to nearly their full load, full rated power. Which I agree, uh, Project Farm, <laughs> uh, that would have been a, a better choice. I have two more ways I can show you the data here. One is to show the amount of watt hours that each one cup of fuel gave us. So here you can see all three again, uh, and again on top is the WEN 235i generator, giving the most efficient use of power at each one of these different loads. So you notice as we draw more power from the generator, we're actually getting more power from you know, one cup worth of fuel. So we're almost at a half a kilowatt hour worth of power from the one cup on the WEN, as you can see here. And then again, you can see how the Honda uh, kind of struggled. And you can see how also the, the 380i, you know, certainly was trying to catch up uh, to the WEN. Uh, but still that larger motor at these lower powers was not able to, to be as efficient as that smaller uh, generator was. Now, another way we can look at this as well is just the run time. So based on these numbers and with one cup of measurement and multiplying it by 16, there's gonna be quite a bit of error here. Uh, but just roughly speaking, you can see these numbers that when 235i at 250 watts will run for 16 hours and 41 minutes. That makes a lot of sense. My test with one cup at 250 watts was just over an hour. So multiply that by 16, and the fact that the fuel tank is a little bit larger than one gallon, and you get these kinds of runtime with a full tank. So each one of these is showing what a full tank of gas will give you, and you can see just the different variations here of runtime based on power usage. Okay, and that's what we have for today. Those results were pretty fascinating. If you appreciate the time and effort it takes to, uh, to make this stuff happen, uh, scroll down below and click on the Amazon link to, uh, to the Amazon website. And from there, just go shopping. Anything you buy, I'll get one or 2% from in the affiliate program. That would be a way of you supporting me uh, without having to go to Patreon or do those sorts of things. So I just really appreciate your support there. If you know, scroll on down, hey, hit me up in the comments below. I get back to pretty much everybody who asks a question or has a suggestion. Uh, I'm really active in the comments field and that's, that really is helpful as well. 
If you give this a thumbs up, that will let YouTube know that, hey, this video should be recommended to other people because the content must be quality. Smash on my face right here if you want to subscribe and see the next video that comes out and click over here for other videos in this series. There is a playlist up here with all the videos in this generator review series that I've been doing. So until next time, guys, be blessed.